The Bruegel Bastion is probably one of my favorite cars in BeamNG Drive. This thing is crazy fast in a quarter mile, getting around 8 seconds, but there's one flaw. It costs way too much. So what if instead of buying a Bruegel Bastion, we go ahead and build a car that could beat the Bruegel Bastion, not only in the quarter mile, but also in price as well. So most of you guys are probably thinking, I'm going to go ahead and build myself a plain Jane American muscle sedan with a big V8 and lots of power. But no, no, we're actually not gonna do that. We're gonna do something even better because nothing says drag car like a delivery van. I'm thinking we're actually gonna base this thing a bit off of Ford Transit. I am versing some people in BeamNG multiplayer today to see which person can make the best drag car. Now, obviously guys, the Bruegel Bastion is a very powerful car, but there's actually one thing that's even more powerful than it. And that's today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. I'm sure everybody knows what Raid is. But did you guys also know that the letters R, A, I, and D can actually stand for the best parts of the game. R stands for referral programs. I'm talking about the best referral programs of any game ever. If you invite your friends, your brother, your girlfriend, you get so much rewards that can help you level up your champions even faster. The letter A stands for amazing artwork. You guys can see these heroes here and here and here. Each hero is unique and each hero looks super gosh darn good, which is one more reason to love the game. The letter I stands for one of my favorite champions, Ignatius. He is so gosh darn strong. If you're not afraid of this guy, then I don't know what's wrong with you because I am. And that's why everybody should want him on their team. D stands for the Doom Tower, which is a very challenging event in Raid Shadow Legends, where each level you climb has harder and harder champions to fight, but the loot is worth it. I also want to point out that it's Raid's fourth anniversary. Raid has been around for four gosh darn years. To celebrate, they have amazing offers, gifts, promo codes, a brand new fusion event, and more, where you guys can get your hands on amazing anniversary themed legendary champions. You can also watch a recap video of all your previous stats in the game. And for the Amazon Prime members who just got the champion Genbo, you can keep your eye out for the next Amazon Prime drop, which is available until March 30th. New players can also use my link down below or scan the QR code on screen to get a free starter pack with epic in-game loot. Again, huge shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring the video. But now let's get back to the build. Most people are probably going for small hatchbacks or maybe coupes or even a four-door sedan. But I'm going to go ahead and build ourselves the fastest minivan of all time. This is going to be a Ford Transit, except on steroids. So first things first, we only have a $20,000 budget, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually is because that's pretty much the only rule is 2016 model year, $20,000 on the budget. It's going to be the same model year as the Bastion. So let's go ahead here. Steel panel material, monocoque steel. Let's go for a front mounted longitudinal engine, double waist one up front and a multi link in the rear. So I'm thinking this thing is going to be maybe like a five cylinder inline five ALSI four valve per cylinder. That sounds kind of reasonable. Let's make it maybe like a 2.3 liter, a 2.3 liter longitudinally mounted inline five. Let's go for fully forged internals though. The engine does not fit. Okay, we might need to go transverse. It's going to be a 2.4 liter actually, a 2.4 liter turbocharged inline five engine. It's going to sound obviously quite good. Go for smart boost, give it a big old intercooler, leave it that stock for now, direct injection per cylinder. Uh, let's go for race intake actually. Turbo headers, no muffler, no cats, and we're making 385 horsepower stock, which is not nearly as much as the Bruegel Bastion. So a bit more tweaking of the turbo and basically everything. We're at 1,036 or so horsepower and a bit less torque than that, but that's totally fine. So we're going to go ahead and move on here uh, past all the body morphs to the drivetrain. It's going to be a rear wheel drive with maybe a five or six speed dual clutch or auto manual. Like we've we got to save some cash somewhere, maybe just a manual. We'll give it some sort of limited slip diff, some semi-slick tires, obviously. Let's give it just reasonably small, like 185s in the front. Alloy wheel sounds fine. Vented discs in the front and vented discs in the rear. That sounds okay. Uh, it's going to be a one-seater because this is not even a street legal car with no entertainment at all. It's going to be just manual power steering with just ABS and no safety whatsoever because that's just not needed, guys. We're, we're making just a dedicated drag car. This is going to be the drag van to end all drag vans. 15s in the rear, 16s up front. Let's give it just, just generic suspension. Uh, the car has no power steering, which is an issue. That's fine. It's fine. It also has no brakes, which is... A different issue, which is also fine. 0 to 100 is 3.3 with the top speed so far of nearly 400 kilometers an hour, which is pretty, pretty quick. So it says we'll do the quarter mile in 10.3 seconds. 
which seems very slow for a car that can do nearly 400 kilometers an hour. It looks like it's understeering a bit, which is totally fine. This is literally a drag vehicle. How much money are we at, actually? That's an important detail. $26,000. So we are over budget by a little bit here. Okay, so I think I've got the perfect combination worked out. We get 10 MPG, which is, you know what? That's that's better than nothing. It runs in 135 octane, which is definitely street legal. Uh, it costs $20,000. Apparently the brakes are suffering from brake fade, but that's something that I, I guess it's fine. You know what? It's totally fine. We don't need brake fade. I did increase the tire quality to plus six, which is going to help us out on those launches. So now I'm going to design the car and show you guys exactly how I designed my cars. And after that, I'll see you guys in BMG. We're now designing the build for my Ford Transit lookalike dragster, except with an inline five cylinder engine. So at the beginning, I am sort of cutting out the front end of the car, and I go ahead and just sort of remove this actually and restart from scratch here. It's kind of hard to get started with the front end because it's very, very weird. It follows like the exact looks of a Ford Transit, so there's a little bit hard to deviate from that. But I do end up adding the Ford Transit headlights, a similar style grille, and a lower front fascia as well. Uh, door handles on the side and mirrors change the wheels up just a bit. And I'm looking to add a big single exhaust coming out of the hood because I think that just looks kind of cool. Going ahead and actually building out the grill now using all the vent pieces and, and all the, I think it's headlight pieces actually for the inside of the grill and headlights mostly. Uh, just doing that, adding the details inside the grill, adding some grill bars all the way across now, giving it some actual depth. Uh, and adding one bigger bar in the middle, adding a bit more depth to the lower front fascia with some indentations uh, and things like that, adding some very simple fog lights just like the Ford Transit. Uh, and now working in the headlights, filling them in basically, adding some depth, uh, just filling in the edges. This is probably the most time consuming part of the entire build actually is the headlights and the grill because nothing else really matters to be quite fair. So the headlights are coming in quite nicely now, uh, adding some projectors inside them with some turn signals now, and then refinishing up the front end of the car. On the back now, uh, I want to do taillights, but it, it's kind of hard to make them look exactly like a Ford Transit because the body has some sort of limitations to it. So I just add these sort of blocks on the back of the car. We have three blocks here. We got turn signals, brakes, and uh, reverse lights, and a license plate area. And just doing some details on the side of the car, uh, changing the height, changing the tire width. And now just adding a center badge. This is going to be a Vanderine branded vehicle. Some side steps on the side of the vehicle, some windshield wipers, and a few details. And in front of us is the 2016 Vanderine Haulage. And then, of course, right, you're the one that's brought the Ford Transit here. I like Ford Transit. Can I ask, is that the sort of Ford Transit that we may have seen on Top Gear once, where they put a Jaguar XJ220 engine in it? I'm not going to confirm nor deny anything. Uh, are we going to go. do a drag race off the bat, or what are we doing? Can we, should we segue to the track? Can we just segue, and then we like, like smooth transition to the track? All right, is it me uh, and Rai first, uh, do you and then Chrome? Then Chrome versus me, the winner. the winner. Oh, okay, yeah, wow. This is news to me. <laughs> this is news. All, All right. right. When you both are ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. One, two, three. Oh, 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 over talk, Ricks. Oh, I killed my <laughs> <laughs> Well then. Uh, no. can I have a retry? <laughs> About, uh, 3.3 thousand horsepower. Oh, uh, it's a little more than me, a little bit more than me. Only three times How as much. much. <laughs> only three times? Okay, let, let me go to my normal one, which only has about 700, probably, horsepower. Three. Oh, uh, what just happened? I had lag as I took off. I think Rise car... Lag me, <laughs> Jesus Lags the Christ. server. Oh, I'm losing traction. <laughs> oh, not e even still, your car is so goddamn fast. I did have you, nitrous you that round. I did have nitrous that round. Oh, oh my god. No, that roll, no. All right, doing nitrous okay, then. Okay, I'll still beat you. Now we're good. There's a 400 kilowatt shot of nitrous. Oh god, you did go. Ah, oh. no, that means fine. you're even further out of range. No, it's Frank. fine. It's fine, Phil. Phil, it's fine. Thanks. Hey. Okay, took off much better that time. And oh my god. <laughs> Did you blow your engine? No, it's getting a little scary. Oh god, I can't steer. It's spinning. It's not good. I did reach my top speed as well, so... Oh no, I'm nowhere near the top speed. Jesus. 
My top speed is like 400. Uh, as, as in my like my gearing cut out. Oh yeah, no, my gearing is yeah. like 400 kilometers an hour. I don't think I stand a chance against your car in my stock form. Two. Three. Damn, son, what the f fudge sickles? Okay, I'm, what I'm, just I'm, happened? And then I spin. What? <laughs> the hell? Pretty much. All right, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to put in a differential that I can tune as well. Is this close or is this kind of, this is kind of close. Two hours later. Two. Three. Okay, I've got a good launch. I have a talk risk. Come on! No, no, I made your mind again! That was a photo you finish, so. me. <laughs> You beat me. All right, fine, I give up. From your try. You your tried turn. your best, Philman. I goddamn did. Holy cow, did I try my best, and still not. And I have less than a half your horsepower, which is nuts. That's impossible! Like, Phil, Phil, this is a 2.3, 2.4 liter, five cylinder. Actually, how how does yours with much less power beat mine? I don't know. I do I, I do have a 500 kilowatt hour of nitrous, so like that that bumps up a little bit. Even still, are you ready? I'm ready. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god, those and wheelies! My god, Crom, the wheelies! Those wheelies! Insane. Oh my god, those are scary. Oh, I had no traction. Just at no the end of that. Hey, how's it going? Okay, see ya. You had your nitrous on too? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I did have bad gear changes that one. If I didn't do a wheelie, I'd probably be faster. Really? But wheelies equal oh, fast. Sorry. Okay, well, <laughs> apparently we've. Um, oh no. Uh, this is. Oh dear. Uh, I didn't know you felt this way, Crom. <laughs> Only fans intro music, please. Yeah, can you put a uh, sensor over this, please, editor? <laughs> I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. And no wheelie this time from Crom. I think they short shifted though, and Twidobro just takes it. I had much better gear changes that time. Yeah. Hi, how, how are you? What the hell, right? What do have I you done? Do I put nitrous on my car now? Yeah, yeah, do it. Very. I guess I'll just turn it up more. <laughs> this is... All right. This... You, apparently, you're turning it up more. <laughs> I, just, just... I, I, I feel that time it was maybe just like poor acceleration management and not great shifting. Are you, are, are you manual transmission or what kind of transmition do you have? Yeah, I'm manual. Uh, manual see, I'm, I'm dual clutch, so I, my shifts are faster. I oh can go gosh. with sequential. Yeah. Oh my yeah. Gosh, cheating. <laughs> Two. One, go. And Rai stopped up the launch. Not a great shift. And yeah. Crom is gone. I just did the launch. Crom left. I'll, I'll give it to Crom. I'll give it to Crom. Yeah. Um. Why is your cars faster than mine? Like, I. It's not as if I was lacking for traction. No, I. I don't know. I. I. Feel what? Like, I, I, maybe you're just not. I have good. a question. I'm gonna try one last time with my stock car. Three, two, one, go. What the hell? Why does this thing bog off the line? America. Well then, I got absolutely pummeled in this car against Rye. Well, let's look. My crumb. goodness. We're probably gonna do it backwards. It's only fair. Uh, I'm gonna go to my base four cylinder configuration, and I'm gonna ask you guys to give me a race around the racetrack instead. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. 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 Uh, hold on. How do I? There we go. How many laps? Just one. Yeah, uh, just the one lap. I'm not gonna make it more than a lap with this thing. Three, two, one, go. Oh no, traction. Oh dear. Well, Lots of wheel spin. I have an open differential as well. I've got a manual locker, and that's it. Ah. I probably should have put the race diff in here. Oh my god, Crum, you are just oh. fish tailing. Uh, yeah, alright, I'm being left for dead. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have good tires on this, and I have no, like, tire options. I have done no testing of this car in BeamNG at all, by the way. I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I can pass you, I'm just, I'm just afraid you're gonna hit me. 
Why would I hit you? I'm not a I'm not a mean race car driver. <clears throat> if you say so, I mean. I'm not. I won't hit you, you unless me. you're asking for it. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I'm begging for it practically. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, what is oh, this? Oh God! Okay, to be fair. Yeah, I think, I think I need to do a little bit of that too. Like Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, no, all right. Oh, the, yep, and uh, I can't keep up with you guys. You no. guys are way too fast. <laughs> God damn it. Well, poop sticks. I actually can't go that fast in the streets because, like, I will spin around at 300 kilometers an hour. Oh, yeah, that 300 kilometers an hour that you can reach. I Isn't that turn. just terrible oh, when God, you reach 300 works. kilometers an hour? No, it's so terrible. <laughs> Imagine having a car that can't turn or have brakes. This thing actually turns... Pretty good. Couldn't be me. Ah. Couldn't be me. Oh god. This is an embarrassment. Editor, pretend this didn't happen. Shit. Ah. My car drifts way too easily. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. I'm just spinning so hard. At least slow down. It was just like, this is going to be a disaster case, but I'm waiting for you to try to speed up, and then I just got ahead of you again. I just spin. I, I, I have no traction on, on prep services. This is no traction. I know. I know. I think that went about as well as I thought. It actually, it went way better than that, way better than I thought it went. I was kind of hoping you guys would understeer a lot more with your like pizza cutter front tires. Oh no! It, apparently, it, yeah. you got to. There we go across the line. Podium Yay. finish. Podium finish. Thanks for inviting me to this absolute ass whooping I got today. I hope you learned something. I'm not something. your friends anymore because I... that's you. You guys are mean to me. I hope you learned your lesson. Since you've been so mean to me, I'm gonna chuck this in there. I would like to say thank you to my channel members, specifically include And you guys had to listen to that cringe speech just then. Alright, bye. <laughs> that's that's the end of my video. This I I I got absolutely whooped. Again, guys, huge shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring the video. Check them out, QR code on screen or link down below. Of course, as always, I'll see you next time.